Hello students, welcome back to class. Today we're talking about the sensor inside a camera. So I have a SLR, a single lens reflex digital camera here. This is an old one because what I'm about to do I don't recommend you try at home. I'm going to take the lens off this, that part's fine. These cameras are meant to have the lens changed. But I'm going to flip the mirror up inside here. Right here, I'm going to lift this up. This is what I recommend not trying at home. All right, if you look in there, you should be able to see kind of a colorful square in the back. It's partially covered by the shutter, which is like that black flap over top of it. But the one part's exposed. That square in the back of the camera is a light-sensitive chip. There's two different styles of these chips. One is called the CCD, and the other one is called a CMOS. The CCD is a charged couple device, and it has a global shutter. It sees everything all at once for a fraction of a second and records all the pixels. Boom. And then it can do it again over and over and over again. The drawbacks to that are it's a little bit slow, and it takes a lot of battery power to record all that at once. The other version of that is called a CMOS, a complementary metal oxide semiconductor. That has a rolling shutter, which means it records what it sees row by row by row very, very quickly. It's faster, and it uses less battery power, but it's considered to be not quite as clean. There's a little bit more possibility of distortion and noise and things in the picture. So it's not quite as good, but because of its ability to do it quickly and with low energy, the CMOS has actually become the more popular chip over the CCD for a lot of electronic stuff like cell phone cameras and things like that. Now you guys know about the light sensitive chip inside the camera.